um, what it is, it's SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder. And it's where you are, people, the symptoms where you feel very tired and lethargic. You don't really have uh, the energy that you normally have. Basically during the winter months for the most part. You can also have it in the summer, but most people have it in the winter uh, during dark months of the year where you have pretty much all the symptoms of, of depression, um, but it's not due to any type of events happening, anything along those lines. It's literally lack of sun exposure. The lack of sun creates a reaction in the brain. So our eyes have two different functions. One is to see. <laughs> And the other is to communicate with our brain. And our body wants to be on a cycle, on a normal, regular cycle. And when the eye doesn't get all, enough light, sometimes it triggers our brain, and in some people it, it creates depression. Now, I treat mine by using a light box. It's literally just a box that lights up, that you have next to you, during the winter months, and it's thought to really kind of change the way that the brain works and to replace the lack of sunlight. You have to experience it for a few years in a row in order to be a candidate for diagnosis, so a lot of people during the winter just feel a little lower than normal, and that's fairly, you know, you're going to have a couple days where you're just not, not your best. It's when you start to have months at a time, weeks at a time, where you're feeling more depressed than not. Um, that's the that's what you want to look out for. The numbers that I've seen are about 10 million, 11 million in our U.S. for severe cases, but for lesser clinically significant cases, about 25 million. When you talk about mood disorders, we probably all know someone with some type of mood disorder, whether it's diagnosed or not. They're, they're pretty prevalent throughout society. Depression's depression. There's no need to suffer from it. It's a highly treatable disorder. I don't care what type of mood disorder you're dealing with. So ask somebody for some help. You've all been sad. Imagine that times 10. There's no reason to feel that on, on a consistent basis. So.